Welcome to the MediSave demonstration of the Micromedical Microlab Mark 8 Spirometer. The device is very simple to use. You switch it on at the front here with the on and off key. You will then select the type of test you need to do, so relaxed or full spirometry. I'm going to do a full spirometry. Then enter the patient details by selecting the various different options on the screen. So male, Caucasian, I'll put my height in. So one eighty four and enter. The weight doesn't need to be entered if you don't wish to, but it does produce the BMI score for the patient. Age and again there's an ethnic correction factor on here. Now it does have the different races on the screen but you do need to enter a correction factor and if in doubt you can always push the question mark key and it will then read through some text and actually show you the different ethnic correction groups that are on there. Once you're happy with the details you've entered you just press OK and we're entering the details to produce the predicted values for the patient who's blowing into it. So straight away now it's come up on the screen with the flow volume graph and there's a grey area on the screen, which is actually my area for my predicteds that I need to be within when I blow into the spirometer. So I'll take the transducer, pop in a mouthpiece, and just do a quick spirometry test. And as I'm blowing into the device, you can see on screen that it's putting up a live, real-time graph and the usefulness of this, you can actually determine the quality of the test that's being blown into. It will also give you an indicator at the top of the screen by saying good blow, poor effort, slow start, etc. And down the left hand side here, we've got FEV1, FVC and peak flow, just to quickly look at, with the options to do it again, reject it if they coughed, look at the results, all done. So I'm just going to do it again, because ideally we should do the best of three. So my original blow is kept on the screen. And here comes my second one. The machine beeps just to let you know it's still calculating some parameters. So again, it's overlaid the graph. We've got good blow at the top here. FEV1, FVC peak flow. But now underneath it's giving us a variation as a percentage. Ideally between each test you want to get it within 5%, so you know it's a reproducible test from the patient. So allow me just to do one more. So this time, the same things have come up, but now we've got a, another sort of reading on here. It says the BTS quality criteria has been met, which means we've done three good tests within 5%, and so we're happy that we've got the best test from the patient. So I'm just going to select done. And what it's done on this next screen, it's picked the best test and show it, shown it against the predicted values, so it gives us a percentage of predicted. And at the bottom, it interprets the spirometry, so it's a normal spirometry. It will tell you obstructive, restrictive, mild, moderate, or severe. And once we're happy, we just say done. Now there are options to do reversibility on here as well, so you could send the patient away. But the main one we want to do is just print it out. So I click on print, and it will then just print the results off for us onto the paper, which can be scanned into the computer and added to the patient's records. Or you can actually store in the memory of this device up to 2,000 patients, and you could then upload it to the computer software package, Spider 5. So it's a thermal printer, and you can see on here we get the results against predicted and also then the graphs showing the predicted line that I should have been within and also the volume time graph as well that I could do. Once that's printed, you just tear it off and put it into the notes. Once you've finished with the patient, you can then just go back, press exit. It's reminding us I haven't saved it. Do I wish to save it? No, I don't. And then we're back to the start to enter a new patient's details in. There are other options you can add on. You can add on pulse oximetry onto here and calibrate it, etc. But the main test that you do is the force test. If you'd like further information, 
please contact Medisafe.